And hello, everyone. It's uh, that special time of year <laughs> when we all gather together, the family. It's been a big year at 3 8 Talking Melbourne. Mm. And it's time to celebrate that special time we all call Christmas, as always. Yeah. And I'm here with Graham Wickham. Hello there, and I'm behind the desk today. We've um, had our young fella call in sick. We have a producer, oh, yes. young fella, uh, Tom. Yeah, he's come down. Timmy, Timmy, Tom. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Tom. Timmy, yeah. Timmy, Tom. Timmy, Tom. And he's yeah. come down with a little bit of gout. Mm. Yes, he's come down with a bit of the gout. Uh, 62 years old. Uh, we call, He's a young fella at 62. He's come down with gout, and I'm back behind the... Uh, back behind the panel. The, the panel for the first time since 1984. Yes, you used to operate the panels down at nine for Graham Kennedy and Bert Newton. Yes, mm. I did. That's how, that's I how I got we got his start in the years. How have things changed uh, since oh, then? Look, well, there's a lot more computers now. Uh, we've got one computer here at the 3AW radio station, mm. uh, one computer that we all sort of have different monitors for. and uh, So I'm having to not just record uh, manually, but also onto the computer, and that's for... Um, Sort of recording, they yeah, keep replace the tape measure, the tape machines that we used to absolutely use. cassette the the tape the uh, the uh, the tape. We used to use an A track back in the day. So when you'd come mm. in, you'd come in and read the news and uh, and and what, what was happening in the BBC and what was happening in the Americas and the Asias, and you'd read them out. And, and we would be employ. listening around, and, and Christmas time, you'd read the fables and present the Queen's mm. message. We used to employ. I think uh, back when I started, I was one of eighty nine. Uh, uh, of the sort of behind the desk fellas, and we had 573 librarians at yes. 3AW, and they yeah. would we would record onto tape, and they would put that in one of the rooms. So that, that's why those yeah. buildings were so yeah. large. Yeah. And at any point in time that you were on the radio, upwards of nine million people were listening. Uh, now it's closer to two, <laughs> and now. <laughs> We are here at this special time of year and everyone is out and about yes. shopping and getting those presents and the and the bataki hams and prawns and things. Yes. But it always is important to remember why we celebrate Christmas. It's the birth of Christ, but also family and friends. Absolutely. And there's a lot of disagreement sometimes between family and friends. And I've always said, you know this, uh, I've always, I've got a bit of a joke, don't I? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've got a bit of a joke about uh, um, there's nothing harder to maintain than an argument with your mother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, my mother's long passed. Yes, as is my yes. mother passed in 1952. Mm. My father, of the course, ripe old age of 97. My father, of course, is 142 years old. <laughs> they are still going strong there, old Jim. Yes, yeah. he's a vicious racist, even by my standards. He's, he's, he's an aged care. He is in aged care, but let me tell you, the nurses down there, oh, they look after people. him uh, for Christmas. They Made made some gravy flavored slop. <laughs> gravy flavored <laughs> slop is my special, and it's because it's Christmas that he's having the gravy flavored slop. Yes, absolutely. They've made him gravy flavored slop in the most depressing place on earth. And to love to those nurses and uh, oh, people working in the service industry and in the, in the healthcare industry. It's been a particularly hard year with that, with Dan Andrews and such. But we're here to celebrate Christmas. But I know what people are thinking at home. Isn't oh, it? yes. It's getting to that time of year when you need to pre-book the hams and the crayfish and the grapes and the... And the, 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 the panettones. Panettone. Uh, We've got uh, Tom Liberatore in here this morning. Yeah, uh, he's the Italian fellow from the, from the grocers. Yes, now we get him in uh, once a week, as you know, to talk all things deli. Uh, Coles uh, have recently been... Uh, really upping their game when it comes to deli produce. Mm. Now, Coles mm. is not just a supermarket conglomerate. Mm. It's also mm. your local store. Oh, Head yes. there for platters and other such I, things. I've been going to the Surrey Hills, Coles. <laughs> Which has been beautifully refurbished, you know? uh, not uh, not like your typical old coals. And then um, they're a fun place. Although I, I I miss the old days of of getting uh, a small thirteen year old 
child to, yeah, to put yeah. my groceries through. It's all machines yes. and beep bops. Now they expect me to do it myself. Yes, oh, I hate the self service oh, checkouts. It's, it's, oh, yes. And the plastic pitch. bag. The plastic. They won't let me. Yes, I have why plastic all plastic I want to do now. is my shopping and they don't have any well, plastic. What am I going to put my groceries in? Well, 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 when I was, when we were children yes. in 1891, yes. Yes. you could go to the grocery store and you'd get paper bags. Absolutely. And I said that to the young lady at the store the other day. I said, you'd listen here, you cow. Why won't you give me, at the very least, give me a paper bag? I imagine you made that child cry. Oh, she cried and cried and she left and they brought in a manager who treated me much better because she had the means to. But the The girl kept saying, I'm not allowed to, Mm. I'll get fired. Mm. And I just yelled at her and yelled at her. Yes, yeah, yeah. I miss the good old days of it. Oh, when I, because I feel like we figured it out. Paper bags, they would break. Why they would you break, break all the time? And bags. then we brought in plastic bags. And I remember I'd do a shop, but I'd have up to three hundred plastic mm. bags. I'd take those bags. I'd put them in the toilet. And I don't see what the problem with <laughs> flushing those things down the drain were. It's just not like it used to be. Yeah, anyway. that's right. Here's the thing. They're charging $15 now, is it? I saw one store, I saw on Facebook, a store that was charging $15 for a plastic bag. Well, I'd bring that's... mine from home now. I'll do you. That's smart. Well, that, that we should consi- I should think of that. But you shouldn't have to. It's the... Principal. Oh of yes. No. Well, the, what I was. Oh, no, sir, I was, I was, I was, what I was going to say was, they've got. They get all these things delivered in big boxes. Why don't they just have a have a an area with all those boxes at the front, and I can take that for free, put all my groceries in there, carry it to the car with that. Yeah, that would be fantastic. If there was a if there was a shop that was able to just leave the boxes there. If only you're living in a dream world. I'll tell you, though, the self-service checkout gives me the earths. I'll now, tell why, you that yeah, much. Why, why? Because I like to be helped with my order as I go through, and if I choose to be served by a young staff member, I have to wait three to four people. Oh, it's... and But who who do I... When I'm there, if something goes wrong, I, I, I have no one I Oh, can, yeah, I put I my hands in the air. I can scream at it, help, help, and then someone comes and... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. ...lanyard. I, 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 I don't understand that. Yeah, they do a An alarm goes off. Yes. And it starts red Make you feel flashing. like a third-class citizen. Oh, I feel like I've done something illegal or something. Wrong. Well, you know, these are the tenants of a dictatorship, and that, that's that's what's happening here. Mm. We are going the way of a dictatorship. Yes. This is what happens. You first allow your freedoms to go at the grocery checkout, mm. and then and then they kill the landowners. And that's it's a special time of year, Christmas, because it's about family and friends and you, and all of a sudden, everywhere you go, whether it's Chadston Shopping Centre, can I find a car park, or how am oh. I, when am I going to go to the butcher and get that sliced, uh, you know, offal or speak, whatever you're speak, having for Christmas speaking lunch? Speaking of butchers. So Tom's come in. He's going to tell us all about the offal. Tony. Tony. Tom's sick. He's got the gout. Yeah. That's why I'm behind the desk. And I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now a word... <laughs> Oh, wait, I remember what we used to do. What? Keep going. That's all right. We'll yeah. cut this. Ah. No, we'll no, I think cut this. <laughs> yeah, we'll, cut we'll, this. Get, we'll cut. cut. Oh, no, nah, keep it, Tom. No, nah, cut it. No, nah, cut this. Cut this bit. No, nah, go straight keep into it. it. Keep it, Tom. No, I think cut it. You reckon cut it? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I reckon keep No, cut it. <laughs> we'll be back. No, nah, keep it. After a word from... I'm not going to play the whole ad. A, a word from our sponsors. Yeah, cut it, Tom. Where's the cranny granny uh, indeed? Of course, no more sun razor on the shelves. It's uh, all this ocean spray nonsense, which I just don't understand. Well, how much is that going for? What's the deal for a sun- ocean spray at the moment? Ocean spray, you can get a 1.25 litre bottle of ocean spray, any of its varieties, of course. Mm. Cranberry, uh, cranberry grapefruit, yeah. grapefruit, yeah. Uh, cranberry light, uh, ruby red grapefruit, yeah. uh, uh, cranberry and blueberry, uh, yeah. uh, cranberry and raspberry, all the ocean spray varieties, and you can get that for up to 
Five ninety five. Five ninety five. That's point two five isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's on special. Keep, it's on special. Keeps well in the pantry until you yeah. need it. Don't put it straight in the I, fridge. I find when at this time all the shops are busy. Have you noticed that? Absolutely. Well, I don't go. I don't go to the shops. I don't really do the shopping. That's yeah. more Lynette's role. But when Lynette, you need to go and get her some zamels or you know go to the jeweller and yes, there's yes, a line yes, yeah, yeah, down yeah, yeah. the thing and the food courts pumping and I just find this time of year it's more like a, st- a stressful time of year. No, you Stress, look, Chris, stressful Christmas, I stressful call it. Stressful Christmas. That's very good, you know. And, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I do see the stress in Lynette. You know, she's very stressful. Yes. yes, it's quite Christful. Oh, uh, yes, yes, Christful. Yes. Is, is, that's a great uh, put men down. A little turn of, <laughs> a little turn of phrase. Uh, no, I, I, I know that Lynette is very stressed because we're having Christmas dinner at house yes, this year. Right. Wow. Yeah, right. so we've been alternating right. with my sister and my yes. brother in law. Yes. Yes. Uh, how many how many guests will be coming to your home Christmas Day or Christmas Eve? Well, no, we're not doing Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is for um, just friends. And, um, you know, I've got a particular friend of mine who I've been uh, spending a lot of time with, and I'll be doing Christmas Eve with him. Yes, and then home. <laughs> With Lynette for Christmas Day. And who is this friend? Oh, that doesn't matter. And then I'm home. Uh, I'm home. With that family. Fa- home with the family. Beautiful family. Traditional values. That's what I know and love you for. It's all yes. about family this time of year. It's a family time It is. It surprises me. But do you find when you're going out... Every time you're going out to pick up the toys at the toy store, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. picking up the hams and the yeah, crayfish yeah, yes, and the yes, prawns, yes, yes, yes. it's a, the roads are packed, the, the roads car parks are, are full. It's the lines feel almost endless sometimes. Yes. I go to David Jones for yes, my shopping you drive every the city year. And, I yeah. drive into the city, and I find. On a normal weekend, say in June or July, Quieter. quite quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I can get where I need to go. I get my coffee. Yeah. I get my little yeah. biscotti. I I get uh, my a tie. I, I get uh, what else do I get? I get a you might get her. I might get, get, a, a, a might pants, get cufflinks. Maybe a fresh, yes, some cufflinks or, a, or some sort of yeah. uh, get a coffee. Yeah. 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 Just as normal shopping things. I go this time of the year and. Good oh, luck with the car park. You're parking on the roof. Yeah, it's, yes, yeah. You have to park. You have, I have to go up. Well, usually I usually go on level one. I can get a park yeah. now. Level four, yeah. level five. Because it's busier at Christmas time. It seems mm. to be. And I wonder why that is. Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, well. and it's also Dan not adding lanes to the road. Yes. <laughs> But <laughs> what I'll do is when I park on the roof... Which is quite hard. I, not that I'm for Dan Andrews or anything like that, but just adding lanes to roads is quite a difficult task. Listen, there are a lot of city planners that have done many studies that have said adding lanes to roads does not work, but I disagree. <laughs> I find at Christmas time when I'm parking on that rooftop, oh, parking, yes, yes. you can get away with parking your car in one of the undercover areas quite easily, but it's summertime, that beaming sun. We'll put up the reflectors on the windshield. Ah, uh, yes. Keep, keep the heat the, out of the keep car. Keep the steering wheel cool. Steel lock, put the, put the steering lock on. Oh, yes. Because there are thieves out there so in, in they Melbourne. they can't turn the car if you put the steering lock on the wheel. Yeah, there are gackers. You're, you drive a very nice car. My grandson for his 18th birthday, yes. we got him a Melway and a, a steering lock. Yes. Yeah. That way no one was going to break into the car and steal yeah, the car because yeah. you're not getting far. No, no, no. I find it very hard to park on the roof. I, I, tend, I tend to get up there, look over the edge, and I think, well, what's the point of it all? What difference would it make? <laughs> I sort make? of have an existential <laughs> look at the world. I have quite I have a little existential nightmare. Yeah. Oh, yes, but at least you're not stealing those disabled parks. I often oh. see people... Oh. Going into their cars, absolute I go lowest up, ebb of society, and I scum. I go up to them, I scream at them. Now. I do. I don't I scream at them. I just I say, assume. "You don't belong here. You look, you're walking on two legs." And then yeah. often they uh, explain sort of uh, the real reason, the, or the yeah. reason why it is you know, that there are disabilities, uh, there are disabilities other than that ones that need, you know, that aren't yeah, visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but I sell, but I don't let them off the hook that easily. No! No. I take down their details and I. Turn it into the police. And we'll, uh, and we'll be back after these messages, probably from Botoki Hair. Oh, I love Botoki Consider Hair. yourself 
a ham this Christmas. I love Bataki ham. Bataki ham. Mm-hmm. And we're back. Probably a message from Bataki ham. The best ham at Christmas. Speaking of uh, meats, there's some wonderful oh, specials Tom, going Tom. on in our Australian butcher stores. Of course, go out there and support the meat industry. They need you. Yes, they do. They vegan, read. vegetarian. Read. Read. They don't they think of the farmers. As we're coming to Christmas, what's on special? <laughs> what's on special this year? We've got a you love a yearling beef brisket, don't you? Oh, brisket at Christmas! Bro- I've never had a brisket at Christmas. How much well, would you be paying for a brisket at Christmas per kilo? Well, twelve pounds. We usually paid about eight pounds. Eight. <laughs> you do know that we've moved past the. Uh, of course, we are. We, yes, we have been. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we have our own currency now. Of course, the Australian Well, dollar. everything's changed. Everything's changed Everything now from when I was changing. a boy. For example, at Christmas time, you'd be about family and friends. But at the moment, I go out to a shopping centre and can't find a park. We've well, got to move Bustling and times. rustling. Yes, I used to have to tell my... My wife used to tell me how many steps I did a day. Now I have a Fitbib. <laughs> do you know... I've got a little Fitbib do you know on my wrist. And that tells me how many steps I do every day. Yeah, You've got yeah, to change yeah. with the time. Yes, well, that's yes. the thing. I think uh, Jeff Jeff is doing a great job of that for the state. Jeff Kennett? Oh, no. <laughs> He's stuck in the past. Have you found that? that when you go to these shopping centres, your mm. Northland, yeah, Chadston, yeah. Doncaster, mm. there's no parks... Yes, we did cover yes, that. Yes, we covered that. We covered that earlier. But that one, I, I won't, you know, the other stuff was concerning. This is commercial <laughs> this, radio, though, so you would talk about that for I'm, four hours. I'm worried you haven't fully recovered from the stroke you had a few months ago. Well, Christmas, it makes you appreciate Christmas this time of it year. It really does. But let me ask you, boys. Are you aware of the Queen? a kilo. For the brisket. For oh, your early beef reasonable. brisket. That's a special you're not going to be seeing anywhere else. Any other time of the year. I was having a meat pie with Alan Jones and um, the Premier of New South Wales last week and we were discussing a new yes. tower in the, in the city of Sydney. And he said to me, what are you doing for Christmas? And I said, you know, I don't know yet, but I do know one thing. We'll be eating a warm winter dinner mm. on a summer's day. Well, yes, Isn't that interesting that uh, we do that? Haven't you ever paired with a bit of crayfish or a prawn? No, we do do that now. We have a prawn, sort of a prawn, a fresh prawn as entree before that oh, heavy winter dinner. Oh, my mouth's watering at the thought. <laughs> Isn't that interesting that we have a winter dish on a summer's day? Yeah, I think that's yeah. very, and I said, that to Alan Jones as he passed the wad of cash to the New South Wales Premier. I said, isn't that an interesting little fact about the other world? Just a little message here. Uh, the tickets to the GAN are now available as we well. oh. have a trip from the GAN from Adelaide all the way up to the mighty Northern Territory, Darwin. Now, have you done the GAN? Oh, I love that me and the wife did the GAN a few years ago. We've yes. done. We've collected them all now. We've almost done the Indian Express rail journey, the, the wonders of the Murray River and Kangaroo Island tour on the... Uh, uh, on the on the Kangaroo Island uh, 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 paddle boat. Have you done the Northern Lights and uh, oh, done the Discovery Cruise to see the Scandinavian? Yes, we did. States. We did that for my my 80th birthday. We took the Scandinavian Northern. But have Lights. you done oh, it in the last 30 years? Yes. No, <laughs> we must get back soon. But. I've got to say, it's a special I, time of year. I've got to say, I did the GAN. I, I did it as a, a as a piece for postcards twenty years ago. Yes, uh, and I just had the most wonderful time. Well, Tanya wants you to lower your kit. She needs to see your face. I had the most wonderful time on the GAN. The producer um, uh, said, "You know, it's going to be a long trip." You know, and I, I, let me tell you, I had the most wonderful. I had to make the the postcards. You know, postcards. Mm. Yes, that's the program, the wonderful travel program. TV show. And, uh, and I got to go on the GAN back. I prefer getaway. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that's fair. But they did steal a lot of our content. Mm. Uh, we'd do things on postcards. And postcards is more about the smaller, like what's happening in your the community. The smaller, yes, smaller because postcards are quite small. So they focus more on sort of... No, what, that's what not what I meant. No, 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 get. that's not what I meant. I wasn't, it's not literally talking about postcards. Well, postcards is a show, show about, is about 
the areas in your rural communities and what's happening there. Oh, yes, yes. So, well, maybe you want to go down to Phillip Island and tell you about amazing things and... Uh, oh, yes, I love amazing things. Yes. Well, we take the grandkids there, uh, who oh, are now fantastic. all 35. I own 35% of cows, the, si- the town in mm, Phillip that's right, Island. Yeah, yeah. I own yeah. 35% of the properties there. And speaking of cows, uh, what, tell us what specials are on. Uh, specials? How much would you pay for a bag of diced meat? Mm, I'd buy about um, uh, probably 12 ounce a pound. 12 ounce a pound. Well, again, wow. we have moved on from that, but raw diced steak in a bag, yeah. not fit for human consumption, pet meat. Oh, yes, Seven, because we forget about the little critters We forget the critters about at Christmas. the critters and the creatures and a lot of them giving them this processed dry food biscuits and whatnot. Oh, Not yeah. me. I feed my meat. animals meat. Oh, puppy cock. Puppy cock. What? I just give them the bag of stuff from the shops. All this raw meat, this raw meat, that. Puppy cock. Yeah, we've, we're happy just giving a bit of pal. I'll just give them a bit of pal. What's this raw meat, this raw meat? Oh, I'm pal sorry, was I got good a little heated there, I'm sorry. Pal was good for Susie, my little, my little ke- kelpie, mm. and it's good enough for all the dogs today. I'm sorry, I got a little heated there and I didn't actually listen to what you said. I just find... <laughs> I didn't actually. I just heard something about meat and dogs, and I got mad. And you got fizzled. I understand. I just like <sighs> serving my pets raw meat, real meat from the gravy, from the freezer, from the fridge. Yes, and gravy. God, oh. We'll be eating a lot of gravy, won't oh, we? What's God. your secret for a great gravy? <sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. What's oh, wrong? what's, what's happened? happened? What have you? Well, read I've got the. Paper? I've forgotten You've got your the name. What's your name? John? I'm Bruce. Bruce. Hello, Bruce. I'm Mine's just a bit sad. I've opened up the paper in front of me and I've got the obituary. Oh, open. the obituary. Oh, and I see which more. One and of our friends more and more names that I know. And yeah. you think they of, just keep just, going. And I look at there and I go, geez, I know that last name. Yes. And then it's someone I used to do bowls with. Or, yes. hang on, I went to school with him in Yak and Danda. <laughs> And uh, it just becomes more and more as you get older, yes. more and more of your friends die. It's very You become true. more and more alone and yes, your friends leave this mortal coil. Well, I, I, I always say... I wish know, I was dead. When you're a child, mm. you go to birthday parties. When you're an adult, you go to weddings. And when you're this age, you just go to funeral, funeral after, after funeral. funeral. Yes. And to the point that you start... Oh, I shouldn't say this. Is a, you start um, maybe thinking this way or that way about the food at the wake. I, yeah. I went to one the other week and I thought, geez, these are the best party pies I've had at any wake. And I thought, what am I yeah, doing? Yeah, that's not funny, no. No, uh, not funny. Funerals I just the, the older I get, the more pain Pardon? I'm in and the more hmm? pain I feel, the more I want to just... End it all. Yeah, See, I don't yeah, yeah. feel any pain. I use the millions of dollars we make yes. on this program yeah. to make sure I don't feel well, any pain yes. at all. Oh, we lived through one of the smoothest, most pleasant times in the history of humanity. And, and you and I, what do we make per year? Oh, we make hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds but also of- own. We bought houses for a fucking bag of rice. I own a bit of this radio yes. station. We've lived through one of the smoothest parts in history and yet all we can do is fucking complain. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and now your friends die around yeah. you. My friend John, who I went to I went to oh, high yes, school yes, with, we yes, went to yes, tech yes. college with him. Yes. And he started the radio with me the other day, dropped dead. Yes, at the, at the ripe old age of 97. Still had his whole... Oh, she's young. Too young. Too young, too young to too go. Too young to go. They're dying around me and I've had a gut full well, of... Well, do you know my second wife died last week? No. Yes. No. Yes. How old was she? She was... But she was but she was but forty three. Oh, too young. <laughs> and just before the deposition. But your new but your new, but your new wife I hear makes you very happy. Lynette, I love Lynette and she's more age appropriate, which is she's thirty five. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and it does get to the point where Age, I think, is but a number. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Have you noticed? Have you noticed that car parks at the shopping centre? We've done this. We've done this. They're fuller. 
What about it's what Christmas about the season. warm winter dinner or the summer time? Have we covered that one yet? Yes, yes, we have. What about plastic bags? I find people shops? people said to me, "Your wife is far too young at a ripe old age of fifty four. Of course, I'm one hundred and seventy eight. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and I say it's the it's our wonderful sense of humour yeah. that connects us. We both are able to laugh yes. at people who are on the streets and don't have a home and say. What? Why can't they just get up and get oh, it's a, a choice? Job. It's, it's a, a choice. choice, and we laugh at the fact that they made that choice to do that. <laughs> it is. And to us, we can laugh and laugh. And I don't find that with people my age. My age, I find people are dying yeah. or, or just. I, do you know who's good? Oh. Matthew Guy. Matthew. Oh, I like Guy. him. I was having a meat pie with him at my place two days ago. Do you don't understand this reference? No. <laughs> this is. Alan Jones. I think I did it last time. Alan time. Jones. <laughs> anyway, look it up. Look it up. It's, a, it's uh, worth looking up. It's it's it is truly fucking South America banana but do you know republic what, shit. Do you know what I find? Yes. What? You go to the shopping centre. Yes. I know this. Car yes, parks yes, yes. full. They are. They're so full these days, and I wonder why. I always think to myself. June, July, I go to David Jones. Yeah. I, I go to the country road section. I buy a four hundred dollar dressing gown, and, yeah. and I think to myself, "It's quiet. It's peaceful. Come Christmas time, busy, busy. I'm, yeah. wait, busy, I'm, I'm happy. Busy, busy. I'm not happy with just the undies and socks from the grandchildren. You oh, get yes, to the I age where too, yeah. undies and and socks and even a little bit of cash in hand. God knows we need it." Helps and you appreciate and give. I give my my grandchildren, all 4,007 of them, a crisp $10 note oh, for they Christmas love card. That. Well, That's they can lovely. spend that on whatever they want. They're the know. joy of life. They can spend that on whatever they Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking through a burp. <laughs> They're the joy of my twilight years, yes. my grandchildren. Mm. All I want to do, me and Giselda, want to see is the grandkids. Now, how many of your grandchildren? What's the age range of your grandchildren? Well, from as young as one to 94. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, they're the joy of my twilight years. Yes. I sit at home, Sky News and the grandchildren. And they visit, I imagine they visit Learning about them. what they're doing in school. And they're visiting often. They, oh, they call well, you on the phone. And yes, when I was in for surgery at Warringal Private the other week oh. for a small foot thing, mm. the grandchildren coming in and showing me paintings and stencils that they've oh, done. wonderful. Mm. I, I have to say, you know, I, there's so many things I love about Christmas, but I have one question for you fellas, and I'd love to know your opinion. Why is it that I can just see, when I go to the top of a tower, I can see so far? Mm, well, I can Surely, tell you why. if there was curvature of the earth <laughs> and the earth was a globe, I wouldn't be able to see so far from that tower. I, I, I be, the world is round, I think. Graham, well, in my Graham, opinion, Graham, <laughs> Graham. In my opinion, we live on a disc uh, surrounded by an ice wall. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. You'll find yes. the earth is more similar to a fresh delivered bataki ham. Oh, round and shape. Lovely. They slice up over Christmas. And guess what you're having on Boxing Day? Ham sandwiches. I love a ham sandwich. I love to uh, warm up Leftovers. that ham. Slice it, test? slice it thin and flat like I believe the earth is. Okay. All right. I've seen a YouTube video. Oh, very good. No, I'm just joking. You haven't seen the video or you're joking about the... Uh... The earth being flat. Hmm. Why would there be so many spheres in the sky? Why would we be the only disc? Doesn't make sense. Oh, it's a special time this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up to the hour here where we'll hand over to John Elliott uh, for the afternoon. Mm. Little question for you before we yes. scoot off this mortal coil. Which we will soon. <laughs> With all God, my God friends giving. and loved ones God and family, willing. my parents are gone. I can't wait Brothers and to sisters rest. who we lived through the, the wars. We're, they're all gone. Go on. What would you like for Christmas? I said, no, just undies and socks and yes, for and my grandkids. And, and for you? Mm, I'd love to spend time with my loved ones. Oh, wonderful. What would wonderful. you like, Graham? Oh, I think I'd like the new Aldi. Yeah, very nice. Just mm. simple. Well, to all in sundry, there. a Merry Christmas to you. 
Hey. And a Merry Christmas to all your loved ones. Except to the unions. <laughs> and a Merry Christmas and to all a good night. <laughs> <laughs>